So those who are familiar with me, you guys know that I'm not a huge supporter of gun control. I'm a very big proponent, actually, of the Second Amendment and gun rights for everybody. And there is very little gun control legislation that I would ever support. Actually, there's pretty much none. Can't think of a single gun control policy that I would stand for. That includes the ban on a so-called assault weapons, on fully automatic weapons, on bump stocks, and all these different things. That I actually am pretty hard against the NRA but not in the way that everyone else is. Most people that say they hate the NRA, I'd say like 95% because, oh, they're, they're, they're such a powerful lobbying group and they lobby against any gun control legislation. It just gets shot down because of how powerful the NRA is. It's like most people, like they criticize the point of lobbying. And I agree that lobbying is a serious problem that leads to a lot of corruption. But most of the people that are against the NRA in that respect, if someone was lobbying for a cause that they agreed with, whether it was universal health care, whether it was regulation against climate change. And also there is an anti-gun lobby too. There is a lobby for gun control. The, what is it? The Moms for Common Sense, whatever the hell they're called. And there's so many different groups too that are trying to counteract the NRA, but you guys don't go against that. And you can say, well, you know, we need to fight fire with fire, but still it's like, I love how people who always go against the NRA for the lobbying aspect of it, probably support lobbying when it comes to a cause that they support. So because you happen to be a, a, in favor of gun control, you hate the NRA. But I don't know, that's just a little side tangent there. Yeah, so I honestly, I hate the NRA from the right. Like I'm attacking them from the right because they, they don't do enough when it comes to protecting people's gun rights. They, they went all aboard the bump stock ban that Donald Trump put through and a whole bunch of other policies over the years. They support a ban on fully automatic weapons. They support a ban on so many different things. Obviously, they generally, when they're lobbying, they are lobbying to prevent gun control. So I guess in some ways they are a very useful, uh, useful organization that I guess I can't be completely against. But when they are in favor of gun control, in any way, then I'm against them, full stop. The Gun Owners of America is a much better organization. They are no compromise when it comes to gun rights, and I am a card-carrying member of the GOA. So they're definitely a much better group to support. Also, the Second Amendment Foundation, they're another great organization. They focus more on the legal challenges, so the money that they raise and the money that you give the Second Amendment Foundation it goes towards court cases, and they've actually had some very significant victories over the years. They're actually the ones that uh, brought the D.C. versus Heller case forward. It wasn't the NRA. It was the Second Amendment Foundation, and the GOA also does a lot of good work. So those are the two groups that I would support. If, you, if you're thinking about supporting any gun rights organizations... And you, you know, you think about the NRA because they're the, they're the name that is most synonymous with the gun rights movement in the United States, but they are not the best group and they don't represent the interests of law abiding citizens. They also don't seem to have much of a problem with red flag laws. They seem a-okay with that. They seem to be okay also with, um, with Nick's. I remember Dana Lausch was was supporting what was called fix nicks no we don't need to fix nicks we need to abolish it the criminal background check bullshit no so it's, it's it's stupid because they talk so much about gun control and how awful it is right gun control is this terrible thing and it, it simply does not work but yet when you're saying oh yeah we support a bump stock ban oh yeah we support background checks to prevent people from buying guns. Well, if gun control doesn't work, then these policies wouldn't need to be advocated for, right? So, you know, it's something to think about. You know, if these people really believed that gun control was wrong, then they wouldn't support a ban on anything, on any guns whatsoever, if it just didn't work. And I believe it doesn't work, and that's why I don't support any policies. Plus, it's, it, it just spits in the face of the Constitution. That's another thing. 
You can't support the Constitution and support any gun control, including bans on ARs. You just can't. So that's why I say fuck the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, you know, he's not a good guy either. There's a lot of stuff going, a lot of corruption within the group too. That just goes beyond, you know, certain things that they do that I disagree with. It's just a very corrupt organization that can't really support no matter what. So, yeah, I think it would be better if you guys just stop supporting the NRA. I think they have, I don't remember, the, the last time I checked, I think they had something like 5 million members and the GOA has like 2 million. So, if half of the NRA members just left the NRA and supported the GOA, wow, I, I, that, that would just, that would go a long way to advance gun rights in the United States. And the Second Amendment Foundation is another very important group as well. 